Good, Good morning, morning Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. This is Cherie and Tibor. Hang on, we spend how much on older people for food every day? Six dollars and eight cents. That's it. On average, Man, in I Australia. spend that on coffee most mornings. No, no wonder there's a lot of malnutrition, and these guys are helping to solve the problem so that there's a bit less of that. We'll talk to them very soon. First, some events from my GC. On Saturday is the Kira Criterium Classic. Some five speed cycling races all along the Kira foreshore. You guys might like that. Sounds Down great. in Kira, bicycle riding. This week is Bond University Research Week. They'll be discussing doping in sport, law without lawyers. Hmm, that could be fun. Um, and the dangers of big data like phones. My phone knows where I'm going. It's I hop in the car, it tells me where I'm going. Before even you decide. Before I even decide. <laughs> <laughs> and today at Rabina Town Centre, as part of the University Research Week, improving the <laughs> quality of life for elderly through food. And that's what these guys are doing. Tibor's a chef, Cherie's a nutritionist. So how can we improve the life of the older people? We have a lot of issues with swallowing problems and dentition in the, with the elderly mm -hmm. and, and in preparing foods that are pureed in, in an appealing way. So we eat with our eyes. This guy does some magic. Really? Yeah. How can you puree in an appealing way? Well, the problem with purees is that you can't tell what it is because yeah. it's pureed. So what we're doing, because we have the technology now, is reform everything into recognizable shapes. We're using a substance which, is, uh, which has the properties of uh, super gelatin and oh. that enables us to, to do that. So could you like puree an apple and then reform it to look like an apple? Yes, absolutely. What? Yeah, no! So if people do want to find out a bit more about that, mm -hmm. today at the kitchens? Yep, 12 to 2.30. Very nice. Check it out, click the link for all the details. So who's in the car racing out of you guys? I'm into racing my car. Oh. Yes, and, and, and I'm holding the holding my breath in the passenger seat. <laughs> Trying to push a fake braking pad. Ah! It is red. Is it's it? a red car. Oh, we well, then fast. maybe you should go to this. The GC600's on. There's a bit of delay, though, if you're going through Surface Paradise and Main Beach, um, especially around Tedder Avenue. Um, they do all the road work. Some of them, we've got like three lanes cutting down to one. And all I get this as well, all the traffic within the circuit, because people actually live within the circuit. Mm. All all the traffic has to go anti-clockwise in one direction. Anti-clockwise? Who mm -hmm. made that decision? Some bureaucrat. <laughs> <laughs> Have either of you guys seen that new polar bear at SeaWorld? I haven't. Oh, I love them. Oh, you've got to go down and it's now 30 kilos, this fat little blighter. Here's some video we got. And we didn't even cook him the pureed food. No, you yeah. didn't. <laughs> That's lucky. We're you... going to go down to the zoo right yeah. after. But a fish, you'll yeah. puree that? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find any seals around here. But fish will do, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but there's seals at SeaWorld. There are. So there might be some that are... Expendable yeah. for polar bear food. Yeah. Today's weather. Cloudy, with a very high chance of showers. And only getting up to the mid-twenties. This is very Melbourne weather like yourself, Tibor. Well, I'm used to it also because, you know, I, I believe that there is a cloud which is always above me and it follows me wherever I go. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I'm used to the rain. Some people have a bullet with their name on it. You've got a cloud with your name. That's a little bit it's nicer. A, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family tradition and a cultural tradition. Mm. Yeah. To have a cloud following you? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. yours, <laughs> Tibor? My goodness, it's big! <laughs> Now tell us a bit more about today's event. It's the joys of food. Yeah, it's, it's really promoting the joy of good food mm -hmm. in aged care. Yes, how we can how we can make ordinary ordinary food mm -hmm. uh, into extraordinary uh, by using techniques and and ideas, which mm. doesn't really cost anything. Because ultimately, food is your medicine. It's it's what's going in and it's feeding this whole engine that is your body. Yeah, I'm so happy that you said that because this is actually what we're trying to promote that recognition that food is a medicine. Meal times, so it's such a social event. It's something that that contributes such a great deal towards quality of life. And mm -hmm. and in terms of aged care, it's really we know that meals can make or break a day for a resident. So if people come along today, they can learn some of these skills and apply it Absolutely. to themselves and to maybe some of their older friends Absolutely. and family. It's, it's it's applicable for everyone. There'll be mm. tips and tricks for everyone. Absolutely, and a bit of research thrown in because it's Bond Research Week. That's what we love. Thank you, Bond. And you guys have a wonderful day. We'll catch you later. Thank you. See very you much. later.